color. Hey, I'm Bishop Quantisa Davis, and it is a pleasure to greet you with the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you for logging in, and thank you for subscribing to our YouTube page. And now, join me in worship right here in the heart of Victory in Christ United Church, the place for all God's people. Sometimes your faith there increase me. And Lord, increase you.
to them. And when they came out, beloved, I also continued to talk to them and teach them words. Not the da 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 and da 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 and this, this, this. Y'all know how y'all do with the babies sometimes. Y'all talk that baby talk. No. I taught them words because, beloved, speech is important. It is our way of communicating what we want, what we need, what we desire. Amen. Beloved, we must also understand that as a spiritual being, say I am spiritual, I am spiritual. words is also our way to blessings, Amen. it's also our way to curses, it's also our way to building. Uh oh. <laughs> and it's also our way of tearing down. Amen. That's right. In the spiritual realm. Amen. Scripture says that whatever you bind on earth or loose on earth shall be bound or loose in heaven. Amen. It is through words, beloved. Not ga 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 da 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 and all that other stuff. And, you know, all the things that we teach the baby. Now they not all that stuff, but it is through the actual words, the articulation of words that things are manifested in the earth. Amen. Glory to God. One thing I could not stand, beloved, when my children were babies was if you talk, baby talk to them. Uh-huh. When people come up and oh, they're so cute. <laughs> no, 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 no. Amen. no, no, no. You want to talk to them, talk to them. <laughs> Don't come up here with this guy da, 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 and all that other stuff. Because they are, they understand. Babies are quite articulation, baby. They quite well understand very much so what is being said to them, even though sometimes we don't think that they understand what we're saying. Yeah, they understand. And so I would talk, I would tell people, stop that. Don't, 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 don't talk my child like that. <laughs> talk to them in words. Because they understand what is being said. But I mean, do you remember a cartoon back in, in their time? It was called Teletubbies. Y'all remember that? Y'all, they, they remember that. They thought the same way to talk Teletubbies. It was an old cartoon that, 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 that all they did was walk around. Uh, thank you. <laughs> all they did was walk around and they made noises and they pointed. And, and all kinds of stuff, but no articulation of words. You know, at first I thought there was no harm in my children watching that. But as I began to hear from God, God revealed to me that he said, stop letting them watch that. I'm like, what, what God? It's just a cartoon. And see, sometimes, beloved, we engage in things that we don't think that is of harm to us. And see, that's the way the devil gets us. He gets into our minds and he gives us, he calls us to do things that is of harm to us, but yet we chuck it up as being normal. Some of us are operating in dysfunction, but yet we think it's normal. Amen. It is not normal for somebody to continue to walk around and just point. It's not normal for people to walk around and just make noises and never articulate a word. That's not normal. Amen. That is dysfunction. Jesus. Beloved, this cartoon was leading kids to believe that the way to communicate was to point was to make a noise and not to articulate words. Ah, oh, good God on my heart. Instead of expressing their thoughts, they made noises. Instead of expressing how they felt, they would shy away and not say anything. If y'all don't believe me, go look at this cartoon called The Teletubbies. I had to go back and rewatch that when God brought it to my attention. Like, did they really do that? Did I really let my children listen and watch that? And see, again, we do things and we think there is no harm in it, but yet there is a harm. There is a, an intent that the enemy is trying to portray that is going over our head. We've got to watch as well as the pray. Beloved, if you aren't careful, you got to understand that this type of behavior, from a professional standpoint, it has us to believe that people are on a spectrum. But you talked about bishop, a spectrum in the professional world, those that who are 
here, we understand that it, it means that they are slow, that they're not operating at a normal function. If they are developmentally challenged. They, 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 they have the ability to understand. They have the ability to do something, but yet they may need a little help to get to where they need to go. And beloved, I gotta tell you that some of us are spiritually underdeveloped. We are on our spectrum, and we are not. We, we got the understanding, but we are slow to the fact that I gotta open my mouth and stop pointing. Open my mouth and stop crying. Authority. Y'all yeah. gotta know it 
And the scripture says that behold, I have given you the keys to the kingdom. Now, these keys, beloved, only go to your stuff. Can't come to your house. I told y'all Wednesday. I can't come to your house and unlock your door with my keys because my keys don't go to your stuff. And you can't come to my house and unlock my door with your keys unless I give you access. And y'all don't have access to my stuff. And so he said that I've given you somebody say me the power and the authority. So here's the point. We can't get mad at others for what they have unlocked when all we got to do is use our own key to unlock our own blessing. He said, I've given you the power. And so too many times we walk around mad at other folk because they are blessed and highly favored. But yet we got the same power and the same authority to speak in the atmosphere and call things that are not Fuck! 
and it must be moved. Nothing would be impossible unto you. The key word in that text is to say it. Don't point to it and expect it to move. You ain't got no superpower. Don't look at it and blink your eyes and think it's going to disappear. He says to say it. So therefore, I got to open my mouth and say what the Lord says. When God says to say it, we got to begin to think like God thinks. We got to begin to speak like God speaks. Because the scripture says to let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. God ain't asking us to do and to be superheroes. All he says is just open up your mouth and speak my word. Why reinvent the wheel when the wheel has already been invented? All you got to do is use it. All you got to do is use it. My last point, and I'm going to take my seat. Come on, So you got to believe it. Some of you got to declare it. And last but not least, you got to act on it. Come on. I like this. I like this day, baby. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if y'all like this, but this is ministering to me over and over again. You got to act on it. Beloved, you got to live like you believe. You got to live like you believe. Live it out in your choices. Live it out in the way you do. Live it out in how you act. Scripture says in James chapter 1 verse 22, he said, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourself. What do you mean, Bishop? Well, Tell y'all enough is not enough just to hear the word of God. But I also got to act upon the word of God. I got to put it in to practice. I got to do what it says to do. I can't just sit here and look at y'all and believe and not speak. But I got to believe it. I got to declare it. And I also got to act like it. Y'all heard somebody say, fake it until you make it. Resting on prayer. I'm just leaning on faith. Because the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. And so sometimes we gotta all the time, beloved, we gotta go on faith. We gotta walk by faith and not by sight. Although I don't see it, I still believe that He's gonna do it. Although it don't look like it, I still believe that He's gonna do it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm going to hold my head up. I'm going to stay in courage. And I'm going to keep on moving. Listen to me for just a second. I got to deal with our text this morning. In the Bible, we read this morning from Genesis. It was talking about Jacob. And remember, the Bible said that Jacob wrestled with the angel. But it wasn't until he opened his mouth and spoke what he wanted. The Bible said that Jacob says, I won't until you bless me. But I gotta tell y'all that some of y'all have been like Jacob. Y'all too busy fighting and y'all too busy wrestling that y'all ain't begin to hear or to put into practice what you've been told. But I gotta tell you that I don't preach up here every Sunday and every Wednesday to continue to look at y'all and when all you gotta do is take what I tell you and put it into practice. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you gotta act upon it. Don't just hear the word, but you also gotta do what it says. The Bible says that Jacob, he was in the fight of his life. And beloved, I believe that some of y'all, y'all been fighting for a long time. Oh, 
Hannah's. Listen, I hope and pray that you really enjoyed the word of God from today. Open your mouth, beloved. All you've got to do is put it in the atmosphere. Start commanding your day. Start commanding your morning. Start commanding what you want to see in the earth realm. It starts with your mouth. Beloved, you can become a member of our church. You can partner with us to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, continue to let everyone know that God loves them and they are loved and they too can be a part of the body of Christ. Beloved, go to our website, become a partner with us, go to our website and let me know, send me a message and we'll connect with you and take you further to living a victorious life. Come visit us at Victory in Christ United Church, the place for all God's people. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.